intrafacial uh, rearrangement will occur so intrafacial for intrafacial rearrangement the condition is that the condition is that there should be more than six number of there should be more than six number of atoms number of atoms in the ring in the ring in the transient state in the ring of the or we can write of the transition state ts transition state then it can occur but below uh, 6 or 6 or um, below 6 um, this intrafacial um, uh, mode of rearrangement is not possible reason i quoted to you reason is the geometric constraints the molecule there is a lot of strain which uh, accumulates in the molecule <coughs> now <coughs> So far, you have studied uh, uh, suprafacial mode of rearrangement and intrafacial mode of rearrangement. Now we go to the other part of the. This is the same topic, but we go to the other part of it, which is uh, you know Woodward Hoffman rules for sigma tropic rearrangements. What are the Woodward Hoffman rules? Different Woodward Hoffman rules for sigma tropic rearrangements. You, uh, you have to remember few points here, which are very important, and uh, some of uh, some of them you might be knowing. Uh, you know sigma tropic rearrangements <coughs> like other pericyclic reactions uh, they are you know governed by orbital symmetry considerations uh, these reactions are governed by orbital symmetries of the reactants so the symmetry rules for sigma tropic rearrangements are nearly the same as those for cyclo addition reactions this is very important so the rules that you have studied for cyclo addition reaction the same rules will apply on sigma tropic rearrangements the rules are nearly same but there are minor differences which i am going to quote in the next slide so what are those you know the only difference the rules are the same I mean the uh, the rules are same for cyclo addition as well as sigma tropic reactions but the slight difference is that the only difference is that we count the number of pairs of electrons in sigma tropic reactions in sigma tropic reactions we count the number of pairs of electrons rather than the number of pi bonds in cyclo addition reactions it means uh, that in case of cyclo addition reactions we were counting only the number of pi bonds in in case of sigma tropic reactions we have to count both the number of pi bonds as well as the number of sigma bonds means you have to count the number of pairs of electrons because in both sigma uh, bond as well as pi bond they are made up of electrons electrons make uh, both uh, sigma bonds as well as pi bonds so the only difference is you have to count the number of pairs of electrons rather than the number of pi bonds so here the table is given you this table is familiar to you because you have gone through the uh, cyclo addition reactions you know what are the rules here the number of pairs of electrons in the reacting reacting system as i said number of pairs of electrons not number of pi electrons pairs it includes both pi electrons it includes both pi electrons as well as sigma electrons you have to count both number of pi electrons as well as number of sigma electrons this is the reaction condition and this is the allowed mode of ring closure how this ring closure will occur or how this reaction will occur so if the uh, number of in, uh, number of pairs of electrons in the reacting system is even number then under thermal conditions you know intrafacial overlap will occur and under photochemical conditions suprafacial uh, uh, suprafacial rearrangement will occur suprafacial mode of reaction will occur and if the number of pairs of electrons in, in the reacting system is odd number then the thermal reaction will involve suprafacial mode of rearrangement and photochemical reaction will involve intrafacial mode of rearrangement 
uh, and you know there is some important point here mentioned although an uh, intrafascial ring closure is symmetry allowed intrafascial as i said in the previous sl uh, slide i uh, i uh, laid emphasis on this point that uh, although intrafascial ring closure is symmetry allowed it can only occur with large rings so if the ring size is uh, you know uh, more than 6 more than 6 then this rearrangement then this rearrangement intrafascial rearrangement will occur so these are the uh, this is the summary of the um, woodward hoffman rules for sigma tropic reactions we will apply these uh, uh, rules uh, woodward hoffman rules uh, uh, in the next few examples we'll uh, start with we will start with the <coughs> with a one comma three rearrangement it's a one comma three rearrangement here is the molecule you can see uh, what has happened this this group here methyl group the ch3 group here it has migrated from this position from carbon number one to carbon number three means uh it's a one comma three sigmatropic rearrangement and what has happened during this uh, what is the total number of pairs of electrons which are involved in the reacting system one is this one pair which is a sigma bond and another pair is this which is a pi bond as I said you have to count the total number of electrons sigma electrons plus pi electrons but interacting electrons means which participate in the reaction you don't have to count those electrons which are not part of the reaction they may be present in the molecule but they are not interacting they are not a part of the reaction you don't have to count those uh, electrons b those electrons pi are sigma electrons so the total number of pairs of electrons in the reacting system is 2 which is even so you have to apply even number formula means we have to apply here even number formula is means this rearrangement will be this one comma three it will be thermally it will involve thermally it will involve so thermally it will involve intrafascial it will involve intrafascial rearrangement which means uh, Intrafacial means here I have mentioned intrafacial means this reaction will not occur because how many uh, atoms are involved in the transient state of one comma three sigma tropic rearrangement? There are one, two, three, four, and five. It involves one, two, three, four, and five. It involves only five number of atoms in the transition state in the cyclic transition state it means that the intrafacial mode of reaction of this reaction will not be feasible so one comma three sigma tropic shifts occur under photochemical conditions so what i have to do i have to delete this and i have to write in place of this i have to write here under photochemical conditions because under photochemical conditions this reaction will involve suprafacial mode of rearrangement right so this is one example of the uh, of the application of woodward hoffman rules on sigma tropic rearrangements let me give you another example <clears throat> this is another example of a uh, it's it's an example of a one comma five sigma tropic rearrangement this is the example as you can see here this hydrogen here it goes from from carbon number one here 
it's the carbon number one and it goes all the way to this carbon number five so it is a one comma five sigmatropic rearrangement so how many uh, total number of electrons are uh, pairs of electrons are involved you can see here this electron pair will go here as i have seen here this electron pair will go here this electron pair will go here this pi bond will go here you know uh, sigma tropic reaction it was involves breakage of sigma bond and migration of pi bonds and formation of a new sigma bond in the product so this pi bond will go here as i have shown here and this pi bond here this pi bond here it will form a bond with this hydrogen as i have shown here as i have shown here like this i have shown here this hydrogen will go here so total number of electron pairs is you know this is one sigma bond one sigma bond and you know this is one electron pair two and three so total number of electron pairs involved is three means odd number this is an odd number so we have to apply odd number formula what is the odd number formula here odd number formula is that under thermal conditions this uh, rearrangement one comma five rearrangement will involve superficial mode of rearrangement means it will be easy it will be feasible it can occur under thermal conditions so thermal conditions here i have mentioned it's correct this reaction will occur under thermal conditions so this is the application of woodward hoffman rules to one comma five sigma tropic rearrangement let us move to another example a very beautiful example of one comma seven sigma tropic rearrangement you see here is the example this is the molecule right so <clears throat> as i have seen here i have shown here uh, this hydrogen here which uh, you know this hydrogen here this hydrogen here it goes from carbon number one this is the carbon number one it goes from carbon number one you can see this hydrogen is present here in uh, in the product you can see it in the product this hydrogen is present here so it has gone from carbon number one to carbon number seven so it's a one comma seven it's a one comma seven sigma tropic rearrangement it's a one comma seven sigma tropic rearrangement now see how many uh, how many total number of pairs of electrons pairs of electrons are involved in one comma seven re uh, rearrangement sigma tropic rearrangement you can see that this is uh, this is one pair of electron i will mark it with some other color so that it is easier for you people this is one pair this is two this is three and this is four so how many total number of electron pairs are involved four uh, electron pairs are involved so the total number of uh, pairs of electrons is four means it's an even number so we have to apply which formula we have to apply even formula what is the even formula it's given here here is the table even formula means under thermal conditions it will involve intrafacial mode of rearrangement and under photochemical condition it will involve suprafacial mode of rearrangement uh, but even number we have we have even number of uh, uh, total number of uh, you know electron electron pairs so we have even number of uh, electron pairs total electron pairs so this rearrangement should occur through 
it occurs through as per woodward hoffman rules it it occurs through intrafacial it occurs through intrafacial mode of intrafacial mode of rearrangement but as i have said intrafacial mode of rearrangement is mostly difficult but in small rings in rings which contain uh, more than 7 carbon atoms in the transition state intrafacial mode of rearrangement as i already said it occurs and here is the example this is the perfect example uh, of a reaction which involves intrafacial mode of rearrangement and this reaction occurs so this reaction is feasible it does occur it occurs so i have written here this rearrangement can occur under thermal conditions because of eight member ring transition state it, it involves eight <coughs> number of electrons eight number of uh, atoms in the transition state so uh, this reaction occurs uh, uh, through the intrafacial mode of rearrangement now we'll be seeing how, how uh, you know how we can count the number of atoms which are involved in the transition state for that purpose this is one this is hy hydrogen one here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 